Open Fusion and add a B spline. Draw a mask around your subject, then keyframe it so your subject stays inside the mask. This is going to be the garbage mat. Then invert the mask because we want to get rid of what's outside of the mask. Add a clean plate and plug the mask into the garbage mat input. Select ranges and drag over the green screen. Use lots of small selections instead of one bigger one, you don't want to select any of your subject. Fill the clean plate, then use the erode slider to remove any non-green colours. Add a delta key and plug the mask input into the garbage mat input and plug the clean plate into the clean plate input. Then tweak the threshold, clean foreground and background until the mat looks good. I like to add a little blur around 0.001 to soften up the edges. Merge the delta key with an image, video clip or background and we're done. Or are we? Combine your image, video clip or background with another plain black background using a merge node. Make sure the black background is going into the green foreground input of the merge. Plug the delta key into the mask input of the merge node and invert it using an invert node. Make sure you invert the alpha as well. Then repeat. Merge the merge node with the black background again and add the delta key into the mask input, but this time without the invert node. Add erode dilate and blur nodes in between the key and the second image. Merge this into the green screen and background composition, set the blend mode to screen, and we're done. We've made a light wrap. Make the erode dilate smaller to make the effect bigger and control the feathering with the blur node. You can control the intensity of the effect with the blend slider in the last merge node. 